Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we're going to study perimeter. Perimeter is a very easy concept. The problem comes from remembering what that word means. And perimeter comes from the Greek word perimetros. Peri meaning around and metros meaning measure. So it's to measure around the figure. Think of it as, you know, you have to go make a loop around your figure. And then how long a distance did you go? This triangle, if its size are 8, 4 and 9 units, then you just add these numbers, of course, to get the total distance you went when you went around the loop. And so it is 12 plus 9 is 21 units. And I can write it here, P for perimeter equals 21. If it gave these in some units like centimeters or inches, then you would have to put it here too, 21 centimeters or 21 inches. And since it is a very easy concept as such, all you need to do is add your side lengths of your figure. Then here's another type of problem where the student needs to recognize that not all side lengths are given. Find the perimeter of this rectangle, but you're only given these two side lengths. Of course, in a rectangle it's easy because this side here is 3 centimeters and then this side is 9. So now we know all the side lengths and we can just add, go around the loop and 9 plus 3 is 12. These two also make 12, so 12 and 12 is 24. The perimeter is 24 centimeters. Here is now the opposite type of problem. You are not asked the perimeter. It is giving you the perimeter. The perimeter of a regular pentagon is 78 meters. And how long is its side? And we need to remember what's a pentagon. Pentagon is a five-sided figure and a regular one means that all of its sides are the same length. So I'll try to draw one now, or sketch one now. It's important to sketch your figure in geometry problems, it helps you think and keep things straight. All the way around is 78 meters. And so one of these sides, since they are all equal, one of these sides must be 78 divided by 5. So let's divide. Now, of course this number is not divisible by 5 because it doesn't end in 5 or 0. And maybe in your math book you would have an easy number like 70 or something. But I chose this one to show that even if it, is, it looks like it's not divisible by 5, because in real life you, you might have such a figure, then we just add a decimal point, decimal zeros, and we can continue the division to decimal numbers. 5 goes to 7 once, subtract, and then 5 goes to 28 five times, Subtract, okay, six, and now it's even. So my answer is that the side is, each side is 15.6 meters long. This problem is very typical and it's found in all math textbooks. Again, it doesn't ask the perimeter, it gives you the perimeter. The perimeter of a rectangle is 40 centimeters and one of its sides is 8 centimeters. Find the length of the other side. Just start out by drawing or, or sketching a rectangle here. Now, you don't know if this 8 centimeter side is the shorter or longer side to start with, but you can just make a guess. Maybe it is the shorter side and if it's the longer side, we'll probably notice it later on. And. Um, the way to solve all these type of problems is to think that this side and this side together are half of the perimeter. So 8 and this side must be half of 40 or 20 centimeters. This and this makes 20, so it must be 12 centimeters. 12 and 8 makes 20 and then 8 and 12 here makes 20. And uh, my last problem it says, draw here many different rectangles that all have a perimeter of 30 units. Now it gives you the perimeter and it doesn't give you either one of the sides. 
but there's going to be many answers now. The perimeter is 30. Let's draw just our sketch here, a rectangle. All the way around is 30. But think of again these two sides that make, the ha make half of the perimeter. These two sides are 15 units. So all I need to do is find two numbers that add up to 15. For example, maybe I'll take 9 and 6. 9 and 6 is 15 and then the other two sides are of course 9 and 6 too. Total 30. And another one, I could make this one 10 and this side 5. And again, these two sides add up to 15 so the total perimeter will be 30. And of course there's lots and lots more rectangles as you can see. And even more if you use decimals and fractions. You could make one side to be nine and a half and then this side would be five and a half. Okay? So lots of answers to this problem.